The Raiden Shogun or A doesn't ask for your Primo Gems. She demands your Primo Gems. Because she is one of the best units in Genshin Impact and does so many things. And is the character that fills the most roles in the team at the same time. The Raiden Shogun is an incredibly powerful Electro character that is also an Archon and also a big problem during the story. And the first Archon that is actively in your way while trying to progress the story, she is a problem. And do you want a problem in your team so that you can become a problem for the enemies? Well, let me tell you today about why the Raiden Shogun is probably worth all of your Primo Gems. So let's go. So first of all, the Raiden Shogun has all the codes on, all the rules. She is a battery unit. She is a buffer as she buffs everyone elemental burst damage and a sub or main DPS. She batteries your team so your gameplay speeds up. You can do more elemental bursts. You get more energy recharge constantly. And this is really, really nice. And then she also is a buffer where she gives your elemental burst more damage. So if you do an elemental burst on a different character, it gets bonus damage while the Raiden Shogun's E is active. And then she can be a sub DPS where you swap into user elemental burst and then swap out again. Or she can even be a main DPS as you can make a Raiden Shogun center team where your supports also take a bit of field time. But the main point is for the Raiden Shogun to hit as hard as possible. If she was also able to heal, the Raiden Shogun would literally be a one man band as she would be able to just do every single role in the game. So having her in a team is always an upgrade as she just adds so much to a team by filling all of these roles and doing them really, really well. Now what's the second point? The Shogun is an incredibly fun unit because she batteries your team, she speeds it up, gameplay becomes faster, you know, more elemental bursts is more fun, right? Pressing buttons, I like pressing buttons, you like pressing buttons, and thus pressing buttons is more fun. So the more buttons you can press, the more fun you're probably having. The second thing is that elemental burst, they made it incredibly smart. Why? Because the elemental burst is two bursts in one. First of all, you pull out that sword and you do a big dimensional slash. This dimensional slash is like half of your elemental burst damage. So it's high impact. So it feels like you are just able to nuke right off the start. But afterwards the burst is not over. No, 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 no. Then you get a sword for a solid 7 to 8 seconds. And you can still deal an incredibly high amount of damage in this melee stance. Now you definitely have stronger stances like Xiao or Ito. But these characters don't start their elemental burst with a nuke. And just go into their more powerful stance. So I think it is really nice design that you are able to do a really big damage slash and then follow that up with a really strong sword stance which is also quite fun let's talk a bit about the sword stance itself it is after you've played her story chapter seen as one of the most powerful weapons in the genshin impact universe and it feels powerful your slashes feel like you are doing a really high amount of damage and it also does a really high amount of damage as you can see in these clips i'm melting enemies with her sword and this is a Raiden Sand team, so of course it does more damage. But melting things with that sword, it feels amazing. Another great part about Raiden is that she's one of the few characters that can work together with Kujo Sara. And I think Kujo Sara is actually a really cool character, and I really like her elemental burst. So I'm happy I can use my, even though she is C6, so it is definitely a barrier. But I am happy I can use my Kujo Sara together with my Raiden to create a fun new team. Another point that makes Raiden really really good to have is that she is either the center point or a very vital part of many different teams. There is a very large variety of teams that you can slot Raiden in and she is also part of the Raiden national team which is one of the strongest teams in Genshin Impact if not the strongest team in Genshin Impact. Next to that she makes a great combo with Kujo Sara, Nahida, some other Electro characters like Fischl. Unfortunately not that much pay though. But you can even slot her into some Tartaglia teams. Where they perfectly swap off of each other. Where you go Tartaglia and you can Electro charge a lot. And then once he needs to be on his cooldown you just pop Raiden Burst. She is on the screen for 7 seconds. And after that Tartaglia is ready to go for round 2. She has a lot of team options because she just fails almost every role except healer. So you can put her in almost any team. I would not recommend putting her in any vaporize teams though. Because her E does steal the vaporize and does make it just. And the next point is that the Raiden Shogun has gotten even stronger. Now we thought her final form was already in Inazuma but no. By having Dendro and with the Dendro characters the Raiden Shogun is even stronger. 
Because now with Dendro she can deal even more damage as she can be a great Hyper Bloom support in Hyper Bloom teams. And also makes great use of Quicken especially with her elemental burst to just deal more electro damage. She goes quite well with Nahida and you can definitely slot in Nahida together with the Raiden Shogun to create some Archon action that does insane damage. So these are some really big positives of playing the Raiden Shogun. So let's go over some quick, maybe negatives really quick. First of all, she is really bad in those vaporized teams as she steals a lot of elemental reactions. And second of all, she can be a little bit artifact investment heavy. She does need some good weapons and artifacts to work. And lastly, she does not work with Beidou. So unfortunately that great combo cannot be played. But yes, the Raiden Shogun is clearly one of the best characters in Genshin Impact. Because she has so much versatility, does a lot of things really really well and all in all is just incredibly fun to play. So I wish you the best of luck if you are going to pull for her on her upcoming banner. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you later. Goodbye!